So whenever I first started studying for the car section, I was overwhelmed by the amount of tips, techniques, tricks, and strategies that I was able to find online for this section. However, after successfully tackling the section and tutoring students in the section for well over a year, I've learned that there are three foundational principles, these three tips that you can implement to improve your score on the car section. Hello, my name is Haynes Rapp, and in today's video, I'll be walking you through my top tips to succeed on the car section for the MCAT. Let's begin. My first tip to improve your score on the car section is active reading. Now, I'm sure you've heard of active reading and are tired of reading it online and on Reddit, but let me explain a little bit about what I mean. So if you are effectively implementing active reading, it means that you are not getting bogged down in the details of a passage, but are instead being actively engaged in the overall main idea and topic that the author is trying to communicate to you. This both increases your reading time and improves your ability to work your way through the questions. Active reading also allows you to stay engaged in passages that would otherwise be boring and hard to understand for most students. And there are three ways to actively engage in this form of reading. Number one is to ask questions about what the passage is trying to communicate to you. Number two is to make predictions for how the author could continue to develop their ideas throughout the passage. And number three is what I find most important, and that's to notice transitions both within and between paragraphs, as this can help you track the author's idea their main idea throughout the whole passage. Again, these active reading techniques are designed to help you stay engaged in the passage instead of zoning out. And I'm sure you've noticed this effect of zoning out when you have to go back and reread a paragraph that you just read. And that's what active reading is trying to avoid. My second tip for improving your score on the car section is to use a systematic process of elimination. And we all know what process of elimination is. It's a process that we can use to narrow down our answer choices when going through the questions of the car section. But what I find is that most students do not have a system or a process or even reasons for why they eliminate answer choices. And so I boil it down to what I call the four eyes of process of elimination. The first eye is answer choices that are insanely extreme. We can eliminate these answer choices if they use extreme words or develop an idea, voice an idea that is extreme compared to the main idea of the passage. The second eye is what I call answer choices that are irrelevant. A lot of times students will call these answer choices beyond the scope of the passage, meaning they really aren't discussed in the passage. So whenever you read an answer choice, ask yourself, does the passage actually talk about this topic? The third eye of process elimination is answer choices that are illogical. These answer choices are often easy to spot because they do not make sense on the surface and they do not really relate to the logic of the passage. And the fourth eye, of process elimination are answer choices that are incorrect. We can eliminate these answer choices because they go directly against what the passage is saying or the passage simply does not support the answer choice. And this leads us into our next tip because often to find if an answer choice is incorrect, we need to use tip number three. And tip number three is that no matter what the question is, you should always find textual support for an answer choice that you are deeming correct. This tip may seem like common sense, but I'm often shocked by how many students never refer back to the passage when going through questions. Even for questions that seem very easy on the surface, it is best to just find a sentence or phrase in the passage that can support your answer choice. An extra tip that I'll add on to this third tip is that the AMC will often use words in answer choices that are synonyms to words that are used in the passage. And so I remind students, we're not looking for the exact phrasing of an answer choice in the passage. We're often looking for the similar theme or a synonym to the answer choice that was given. Now, I've given you these three tips, but I don't want you to get overwhelmed with them, okay? Because that's exactly what happened to me. If you recall, I was overwhelmed by the amount of tips, tricks, techniques, and I don't want that to happen after watching this video for you. And so what I recommend, something that you can do right now to start implementing these strategies, is to take the next three days and spend one day focusing on each tip. So go ahead, take a passage today, focus on active reading, ask questions about the passage. Tomorrow, do another practice passage and really focus on the process of elimination. Remember the four eyes of the process of elimination. The next day, really focus on finding textual support, going back into the passage, highlighting different sections of the passage that refer back to the correct answer choice. And remember that these three tips are a replacement for consistent cars practice. A good way to get this consistent cars practice is to use practice passages that can be found online, such as Jeff Weston passages, or that can be bought through third parties, such as UWorld or Blueprint. And lastly, is to sign up for MCAT Mastery's free email strategy course. And in this course, you will receive strategies and stories of students who have successfully taken the MCAT. Sign up for tutoring sessions through MCAT Mastery. 
And these tutoring sessions can be with myself or another tutor who would love to walk alongside you in your MCAT journey. Thank you for watching this video. I hope these three tips will really sink in and then you can begin implementing them in your course practice.